Amen, amen, amen. He's worthy of it all. And he deserves the glory. He deserves the honor and the praise. From the rising of the sun until the setting of the same, or God's name is worthy to be praised. We have reached a time that we dedicate to prayer. And so let me use this opportunity just to welcome each and every one this morning who are now online to wake up for the word, whereby we come together each morning to be blessed, to be filled with spiritual food for life's journey. So having reached that time, I'm going to ask that we adopt the attitude of prayer and we begin to pray for the platform, for the moderator, for those who will participate in whatever way, whether to read the word, navigate, or to intercede in wartime prayer on behalf of those who will place their requests in the chat. And even those who may not have placed their requests, but have whatever it is on their heart. So at this time, I ask that we begin to pray. God bless you and welcome to Wake Up for the Word. Want to encourage us? Father, to... Go ahead. Holy Father, we come into your presence with a heart of thanksgiving and with a heart of praise. Lord, we know when we lift our praise to you, you enter our circumstances with power. Lord, on this day that you have made, we rejoice and are glad. Thank you, Lord God, for your loving kindness and your tender mercies that are new every morning. In this morning, we lift our praise and look up to the one who is our sovereign king, the one who is our sovereign Lord. Apart from you, we are nothing. Father, we come because we understand how important it is to stay in your presence, to rest in your presence. For you said, if we abide in you and your word abide in us, we can ask and it shall be done. Thank you, Lord God. And so we come honoring you. We pray for everyone on the platform this morning and for their families. Walk through homes with your healing power. From this platform, may an over outpouring of your anointing and grace flow into our communities, flow into our nations, and change and shift the atmosphere as only you can. Lord, we order this day aright by starting the day and giving you homage. Father, for those who are participating today, bless those who will share the word. Lord, quicken them by your Holy Spirit. Lord, create enlightenment as only you can to those who will hear. And may the hearts be open to receive from you everything that you have purposed for us this morning. We pray for readers or intercessors. Thank you, Lord God, for ministers who join in the mighty name of Jesus. For all of us, Lord, in this holy convocation, sharing sweet communion with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you that your spirit is pleased to dwell and tabernacle with us. Send your refreshing and anointing Oh God, so that we will walk out with joy, with a pep in our step and a song on our lips and a praise in our mouth. 
and a testimony to those we meet. Lord, may we be open to find opportunities to share your word, to be helpful to others, to be obedient to the Holy Spirit. Thank you for what you're doing in us. Thank you, Lord God, for your outpouring through us. And Lord, fill us again. Let the weight of your anointing fall. Thank you. Let the weight of your glory fall. Thank you, Jesus. Even in this house, even in this place, let your Holy Spirit be the one in charge. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we acknowledge you as our Father this morning. We come to you because you are our great high priest. You are touched with the feeling of our infirmities. This morning, we are empty. We are naked before you. We ask, Lord, that you will continue to be a watch over us. Where we are weak, Lord, make us strong in you. Where we are discouraged, Lord, we pray that you'll encourage our hearts, that we'll stand fast in the liberty that you have made us free, that we'll not become entangled again with the yoke of bondage, my God. I pray, Holy Spirit, that as, even as we come together this morning, if there's any sick among us, your word declares that we should call for the elders and we should pray. So we lift up even now the one who will pray the prayer on behalf of those who are sick, those who are troubled in their spirit, those who are discouraged, those that want a, a, an upliftment from you, Lord. And we ask, Lord, that you will put the words in her mouth. We ask, Lord, that you will give your angels charge over her. And as she speaks, that nothing will prevent her to speak as thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. We lift up the one who will break the word this morning. Lord, we know that there is nothing good in us. There is nothing in us, Lord. This is your word. So we ask, Lord, that you just open it up to such a one that as they speak, your word will accomplish that which you desire it to be. Lord, for the one who will read your word, Lord, we acknowledge in your writing, you say, without me, you can do nothing. And as simple as it may seem to some, we recognize without you, this person can't read with the enunciation and the pronunciation and the, the right volume and clarity as you would want it to be done. Lord, we present all of us this morning to you, those who will hear, those who will praise, those who will lift up their hands and, and rejoice because of what you have done. And we say, God, Go before us, make straight part for our feet. Lord, you know the hearts of your people. Some of us, our hearts are burdened over the situation in our country. My God, the death toll for whether by accident or by, by intentional. Oh God, it is coming up and it is not a sweet smelling savor at all. Oh God, we ask Lord that you stem the death in our country in the name of Jesus, my God. Just yesterday, a family of three just went like that in an accident, Lord. Continue to give your angels charge over us, to watch over us, to guide us, to give direction. My God, and there our heart is failing. Help us to continue to look up to you, Jesus. Lord, we have no other source. You are our everything. And so, Lord, we acknowledge your presence with us this morning. Take over. The, the devices, 
Lord, let them operate in, in sync so that everything will be done decently and in order to your honor and your glory. Lord, we continue to praise you and we ask you to take center stage because it's all about you, Lord. Continue to bless and give direction. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you for your mercies, for your kindness. Thank you for waking us up this morning, oh God that we can intercede and cry out to you. We need you, Lord. We pray that you will come down and bless us. We need your blessings, what is going on in this world. We need your kindness. We need to be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for the one that shall read the word this morning, we thank you for the one that shall navigate your word and knowing such a one. Lord, we thank you for the intercessor. Lord, we pray that you touch her and touch everyone this morning that is on the platform. Lord, we pray for everyone. We pray, Lord for your mercies to be upon us. Have mercy, Lord, upon us. We need you, Lord. We need you more than ever. If there is no the time we need the Lord, it is now. Oh God, strengthen us. Oh God, hear our cry to you. Lord Jesus, <laughs> and on you, we have no one else to go but to the Lord. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. We thank you, Lord, for what you're about to do. We thank you, Lord, that you will bless, touch, and anoint everyone on this platform. Oh, God, have mercy upon us, Lord. Strengthen us. We need the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. We need to hear from you, because if we don't hear from you, Lord, what will you do? And help us as we hear from you, Lord. We'll obey your voice. We'll do your will. Oh, God, many times we do what we want to do. But, oh, God, have mercy. Forgive. Bless us. Cover us under the blood. We seek you. Lord, we are here to see your face. We are here to cry to you. <coughs> oh, God. Lord, we praise you. We honor you. We glorify you, Lord. We <coughs> magnify you, Lord. Oh, Father God, we give you the glory, the praises, and the honor. And we say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. We just come to thank you, Lord, you have been so good. You have been so good. You have been 
so good we just come to thank you lord hallelujah hallelujah bless your name bless your name hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. lord we bless your name we praise bless your you name. we magnify your name we honor hallelujah. you mighty god hallelujah it's Kings. not by chance you're on the floor there is no one like we you we just praise you lord hallelujah we glorify you hallelujah thank you Jesus. bless his name thank you jesus thank you lord Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for another day, for wake up for the word. Thank you, Lord, for your people who have come this morning on your platform. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done and what you're about mm -hmm. to do. We give you thanks. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, take over now. Let your will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, mm -hmm. everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Steve. Good morning. Good morning, saints of God. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning sister. Good morning, sister. Good morning, sister. I thought it, nobody was hearing me. Now the phone went off. Good morning. Okay, praise God, praise God, praise God. We are here to give God thanks this morning. We are alive, amen? Amen. amen. We are alive, amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. If you are not here to praise God and give God thanks, I pray that this prayer of God be part of your man. Ignite it. Hallelujah. Praise God. This morning, we are happy to be here and I want to welcome you all in your respective position. And yeah. I thank God for all of you. You, whether you are a remnant core, eagles, or whatever you are, I just thank God for you. So Amen. without much ado, we are going to move on to the scripture reading this morning. And Sister Ellen from London, England, where the monarch has died. When I when I heard that she died, I it was dropping my spirit from death to life. And I said, thank you, God, after 70 years. And we thank God for the woman who has reigned for 70 years, even little Jamaica. And so, God, we thank, we thank God for her life this morning. And so, Amen. without further ado, I am going to move to Sister Ellen. And ask Sister Ellen to read the scripture for us coming from Isaiah 44, verse 9 through 17. I would kindly ask that you mute your mic so that we can hear the word of God as it is read. Over to you, Sister Ellen. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good morning to everyone. Good morning. I'm, reading Good morning. From, Good morning. I'm reading from the King James Version. I'm an old school lady. And it's Isaiah 44, reading from verse 9 through to 17. And it reads thus. They that make a graven image, all of them vanity, and their delicable de de things shall not profit. And they are their own witnesses. They see not nor know. They that may be ashamed, who had former God, are molding a graven image that is profitable for nothing. Behold, all his fellows shall be ashamed, and the workmen, the all of men. Let them all be gathered together. Let them stand up, yet they shall fear, and they shall be ashamed together. The cement with the tongues both work it in the coals and fashion it in with hammers and work it with the strength of his arms yea he is hungry and his strength faileth he drinketh no water and is faint the carpenter stretcheth out his rule he marketh it out with a line and mm -hmm. he fitted it 
with planes and he mark it out with the compass and make it, it after the figure of a man, according to the beauty of a man, but it may remain it in the house. He hewed him down cedars and take the cypress and the oak, which he strengthened for himself among the trees of the forest. He planted an ash and the rain doth nourish it. Then shall it be for a man to burn, for he will take thereof and warm himself. Yea, he kindled it and bake it bread. Yea, he make it a god and worship it. He make mm -hmm. it, it a graven image and mm -hmm. sail it down thereof. Mm -hmm. He burn it part thereof in the fire. Which part that he eateth flesh? He roasteth roast and is satisfied. Yea, he warmeth himself and said, Aha, I am warm. I have seen the fire. 17 and last. And the residue thereof, he make it a god, even his graven image. He falleth down unto it, and worship it, and pray unto it, and saith, Deliver mm -hmm. me, for thou art my God. Here mm -hmm. in the, the reading of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, thanks, thanks be to you, God. God. Amen. Amen. God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for this word this morning. Hallelujah. And God has prepared his servant to bring forth the word. And I will not stand in the way because I need to hear the word this morning. You need to hear the word from God. And Amen. so I am going to ask all of us. If we have a request, please put it in the chat. Please put those requests in the chat now. And while you are doing so, we pray that the pastors, the believers, the prayer warriors will lift up Pastor Sandra Mills as she come forward to break God's word to us this morning. And that mm -hmm. every single one of us will not go back the same way we came. Praise God. Glory to God. This time, I yeah. invite the woman of God to come and to break the word in the mighty name of Jesus. Pastor. Hallelujah. 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 Bless God. the name of Jesus. Praise Greetings them. to the body of Christ. Amen. Greetings Amen. to each and Greetings. everyone. Yes, yes. God yes. is yes. good. Yes. God yes. is great. Yes. All the pastors, all the ministers, all the listeners, all the doers of the word. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, create within me a clean heart and Amen. renew a right spirit within me, Lord God. Yes. yes. Father, I ask, O oh God, that as I give myself away to you to be used by you, I ask your Holy Spirit even now to come and minister to your people through me as a vessel. And I pray, God Almighty, that every heart will receive that which you have to give to them today, Father. And that, Lord God, each and every one of us, Father, in the name of Jesus, will be better persons after this day, mighty God. Higher heights and deeper depths in you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 The name amen. of Jesus amen. is worthy to be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. And this morning, I would just like to speak to us on, Thou shall have no other gods beside me. Amen. Thou shall have no other gods. Hallelujah, bless the name of Jesus. There are many gods, come on G, G-O-D-S, in this world, but only one capital, G-O-D. Hallelujah, bless the name of Jesus. He dwells in heaven and holy is his name. He is the maker of heaven and earth. David declare in Psalm 24 and verse 1, 
The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. He said in Psalm 19 and verse 1, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament show it is under work. In Isaiah chapter 6, the seraphim cried unto another, saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is filled with his glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The songwriter pens it. All other gods, they are the works of men. Bless the name of Jesus. God has chosen his servant Jacob, who he later gave name Israel. Israel became a great nation. In Exodus chapter 20, the Lord God gave them a command saying, I am the Lord thy God. Thou shall have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Hallelujah. Israel often find themselves in that position, going after other gods with profit them nothing. Hallelujah. Praise God. In this passage of Isaiah 44, verse 9 to 17, we will see two trade men mentioned here, the Simit and the carpenter. It tells of their preparation, hallelujah, their delegation, how careful and beautiful they, their excitement, hallelujah, bless the name of Jesus, of how they have made and fashioned their common G-O-D-S, their gods, are molten graven image. Mm -hmm. These things they delight in are vanity and they profit mm -hmm. nothing. Hallelujah. Verse 9 and 10. They see not, and they know nothing. Mm -hmm. They are profitable for nothing. Bless the name of Jesus. Let's take a look at the Simit. He is prepared with his tools and hammers. The Simit was also mentally prepared to face the heat. He was not afraid of the fire. Hallelujah. He works with fire. Hallelujah. He was also physically fit to use the strength of his arms. The Simit works with gold, silver, iron, anything that could be melted and molded and fashioned into whatever he desired. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. He bears hunger and thirst just to finish his work. He was delicated, hallelujah, and determined to get the job done. Bless the name of Jesus. The carpenter also was prepared. He had his ruler, his joint instrument, compass, and planes, hallelujah. He goes into the forest and cut down the trees, the best and strongest trees, the cedar, the cypress, and the oak tree. He was not afraid to go into the forest to get the tree he needed. For these trees, the carpenter would burn woods to keep himself warm. Hallelujah. He used the same wood from the trees that he cut down to prepare food. Hallelujah. And from the same tree, he would make and fashion gods. Come on, G-O-D-S, gods, hallelujah, and bow down and worship it and said, deliver me for thou art my God. Hallelujah, mm. bless the name of Jesus. Verse 13 said, the, carpet, the carpenter maketh it after the figure of a man according to the beauty of a man. The mm. simit 
and the carpenter, they both had the same attitude towards their goals. Hallelujah, bless the name of Jesus. They were prepared, they were determined, hallelujah. They had strength, they were dedicated, hallelujah, to, the, to their work, bless the name of Jesus. Only that they do it in vain, hallelujah, praise God. Verse 11 said, the workman, let them all be gathered together, let them stand up, they shall fear and they shall be ashamed together. Bless the name of Jesus. In 1 Kings 18, verse 17, those who worship Baal was put to shame. They call upon Baal, hallelujah, cut themselves from morning till evening. Baal could not hear, could not see, neither did Baal know anything. All, all 400 and 50 men that bow and worship Baal was put to death. Hallelujah. Thou shalt have no other God beside me, said the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. There is no God like unto our God. First Samuel chapter 5. The Philistine captured the ark of God and took it and placed it into the house of their God, Dagon. Two times Dagon was found, hallelujah, on the ground, on his face before the ark of God. The second time Dagon loses his head, its head, and it's the palm of his two hands. Bless the name of Jesus. There is no God like our God. Our God is a jealous God. Hallelujah. And I would just like to pause right here. And I would just like to say to us. Is there any idols in our lives? Oh, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God. I remember, yes. I remember as a teenager growing up, young, coming up into my young 20s, praise God, I bought some beautiful figurine. They were very pretty. And when the Lord blessed me with my first child, I took up all those figurines and I put them up and I have them put up for years because I wouldn't want anybody at all to brush against them, let them break them. And when I accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior, one day I just hear it forcefully, those things are idols, get rid of them. And I went and took them from where they were and place them in the garbage and I throw them away. So I can say that once I had idols in my life. Mm. And there are so many little things sometimes that can become idols that we are not even aware of that they are idols. As a child going to church, when the ladies, let me touch on the ladies a bit this morning. When the ladies would dress up in their nice stocking going to church, as a child, they are not stepped on the lady's shoe, especially to draw her stocking. That is the time you know if they were really Christians or not because of a stocking. Hallelujah, bless the name of Jesus. I want to say this morning to us that I have come across people, women, who their husband has died and they are sleeping with the tape measure around their waist and sleeping and wearing the red underwears. Mm -hmm. They are Christians. Mm -hmm. Who is your God? Uh, Jesus. Is it dear, a true and living God that we serve? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. You visit the homes and they have the harsh shoe. Mm. God. Because it is there for protection. Mm. Where is the true and living God? Man. Hallelujah. Bless the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. So many things that we use for God. Sometimes our very children can become gods in our mm -hmm. homes. Mm -hmm. Because we fail to see that God is our provider, 
God is our source. So we depend and say, oh, oh Lord, he was my breadwinner. Or he is my breadwinner. Jesus Christ is the bread of life. And he said he will take care of you because he takes care of the sparrows. Yes, he is. He is a man to his word and Amen. he will take care of us. I have proven him and I know that many have proven him as well. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. He is worthy to be praised. Glory to Amen. God. Hallelujah. Amen. A few years ago, just before COVID breakout, I was on my, I planned to go to Clarendon. And in my planning to go to Clarendon, every time I go to my bed, I would dream that I'm standing on a spot of ground and that ground look red like it is in Manchester. And I keep saying, how comes I am seeing myself in Manchester and I am, and I am going to Clarendon? However, this lady, I met her when my mom was sick and before she died. And she, she said to me, I call her and I tell her that I was going to go down that so my mom is buried now. I am going to Clarendon and I'm going to pack up my mom things. She said to me, when you are going, call me. I will, I will take you there. So I called her and she said to me, when you get to the bus stop in Mandeville, call me. So I did so. When she come and I went into the vehicle, I thought she was going to take me to Clarendon, but I realized that we were not on the way to Clarendon. It's somewhere else in Manchester. She took me to her house and I am saying, God, is this what you were showing me? That I would be in Manchester instead of Clarendon? And I was at her house for seven days before I, I was able to go to Clarendon. While I was there, in her home that the Lord blessed her with, I noticed that there was a figure on her whatnot, on her brave front. So I looked at it because it kind of looks strange to me. I've never seen one like that before. So I looked at it. And I said, no man, something funny with this. And in the night now, I came out of the room to go into the kitchen to get some water. I, I looked at the figure because it's a black and white figure. The white was showing up so brightly in the dark. So I went closer to look at it to see why that white was so bright in the dark. And when I looked at it, within the, within the figure, it's like a figure of a woman. So within the dress, there are a lot of faces in the dress. And it only shows up in the night. You don't see it in the day. So I said, my God, Father, this is what you carry me here for. So in the morning, now this lady, you know, was, doctor had given her up that her body was filled with cancer. So in the, in the morning, I said to her, I said, where did you get this figure? She said that an old lady gave it to her. And when she was much younger and she died many years ago. I said to her that this figure is an idol. Mm -hmm. She looked at me and she said, I am sorry that you see it that way. I didn't say anything else to her. But when she was not looking, I point to the figure and I said, the blood of Jesus Christ is against you. You shall be broken in irreplaceable pieces. And every time I pass it, I said, you shall be broken in irreplaceable pieces. Hallelujah. I came back. I went to Clarendon, came back to St. James. When I went back to Manchester some months after, I did not see the figure. I said, what happened to your figure? She said, I don't know how it fall, but it fall and broken up in pieces and I couldn't mend it up. And I said, yes, Lord. No, that lady is still alive today and that is over seven years ago she yeah. has become she she her health has has improved and i give god glory because sometimes the things that we have in our homes we have to be careful of the things that yeah. we accept yeah. into yeah. our homes yeah. 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 we don't yeah. know where they're coming yeah. from or what they have been especially when persons 
pass on things to us and we yeah. hold on to them so dear. Yeah. We don't want anybody to touch them. They become idols in our homes. We have yeah. to be very careful. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Come on, preach. The men, the men, their cars, they will say that their cars are their wives, are their women. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. Some men worship their vehicle. Mm -hmm. It yes. ought not Jesus. to be so. Some men, they cannot touch their clocks. Mm. Come on, come on. Glory Jesus. to God. The things that we idolize. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Many mm -hmm. gods are in our lives. Mm -hmm. And it's for us to recognize what our what those gods come on G O D S are. Mm -hmm. And if we do not know what they are, let us just take a few moments and think of anything that we are holding on to. How would we react if this if this particular dish that I got for my birthday should drop and break? This particular dish that I don't want anybody to eat out of, it should drop and break. How would I react towards it? Mm. Yes, hallelujah bless the name of jesus mm. this particular Amen. spoon if i cannot eat with this spoon i drink soup or use this spoon i don't want any other spoon to use Thank you, God. Mm. Mm -hmm. some small things can mm. become gods in our lives yes, yes. god mm -hmm. allow the head of the gun to be broken off and the palm of its hands mm -hmm. sometimes some of our illnesses are because we are worshiping other things instead of worshiping mm -hmm. the true and living God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have no patience, but God allowed us to wait for us to see ourselves, whether mm -hmm. we believe in him, whether we would turn mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we do not want to wait, so we go and we seek out the other gods who peep through the crystal balls and the palms. Mm -hmm. We go to the other men and the other mm -hmm. women. <laughs> Mighty God of, of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. And said that we are serving the true and living God. Amen. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Our worship to the true and living God is in vain. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. My Amen. brothers and sisters, God is truly, truly speaking to us through the words of the prophet Isaiah. Yes. Amen. Yes, we are engrafted into Israel spiritually. Mm -hmm. And we have a work to do. God has called us. He has chosen me. He has chosen you. He mm -hmm. is equipping us to his word. Mm -hmm. He is preparing us mentally and physically. He yes. has given us the tools with which we are to use. He has given mm -hmm. us this. He has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, Hallelujah. of power, Hallelujah. and of a sound yeah. mind. We yeah. have no need to fear. The oh, cement did not fear the fire. Neither yeah. the carpenter was afraid to go and cut those trees in the forest. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. God has given us the Holy Spirit who is Amen. our guide through this life journey. Amen. I would like to say to yeah. us this morning, if God has given you an assignment, do not neglect your assignment for Amen. anything. Hallelujah. If you are not doing what God has called you to do, look and see what is hindering you. Anything that is you, that you or I have placed before God has become an idol. Yes, yes. Let us have a determination to finish that which the Lord had called us and chosen us to do. The cement and the carpenter. Hallelujah. Amen. They are hard work was in vain hallelujah bless the name of jesus our work will not be in vain glory to god galatians 6 and verse 9 let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not 
Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. And as I come down this morning, hallelujah, I would like to say in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58, my beloved brethren, be he steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For Amen. as such as he know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. As Christians, we must be prepared. We must be delicated to the task. We must be determined to finish the task given to us by our Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. The carpenter and the cement and all those who worship idols were ashamed. And all those who are still worshiping idols today will be ashamed. Hallelujah. Because God is going to expose you. Judgment begin in the house of God. Hallelujah. And everything that is hidden up is going to be uncovered. He's going to take off all the sheep clothes and expose the wolves. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. So let us look into our lives and let us get our lives straight and make sure we know who we are serving. Choose this day whom you will serve. If God be God, then serve him, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. And in coming down this morning, I would like to say from Psalm 12, Psalms 125 verse 1, it is written, they that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, Amen. which cannot be removed, Amen. but abide forever. Come on, Come on, you want to abide forever? Amen. You want to be yeah. like Mount Zion? Yeah. Trust God this morning. Amen. Get rid of the idols out of our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory. Jesus. Some of us may yeah. have... Uh, may have a store or a shop or a supermarket or a whatever business we may be involved in. There are times when you have to leave your business and go and do God business. Amen. When God said, move, move. Amen. When God sent you, you must be ready to go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. He is worthy to be praised. Let there be no form of idols in our life this morning. Amen. Let us throw them out. Hallelujah. Yeah. Do not put them up like how I had put up those figuries. Because if you don't get rid of them, you, might, you will still have that idol there. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Get rid of them and serve the true and living God. Because there is no other God like the Lord God Almighty Creator of Hallelujah. heaven and hurt and is still saying to us this morning thou shall have no other god beside me hallelujah he is the first and the last he's the beginning and the end is the alpha and omega and he reigned forever is from before time begun hallelujah bless the name of jesus glory to god hallelujah no foreign god shall take his place hallelujah bless the name of jesus he's worthy to be praised glory to god he's the only god and he will forever be God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. He is worthy to be praised. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Pay attention to Isaiah. Pay attention to the prophet Isaiah. Because God is speaking to us through the prophet Isaiah. God is preparing us on this platform for what is to come. He is equipping us with the word on this platform this morning. He's making sure that we hear the word of God through Isaiah and this because we have an assignment to do and those of us who do not know what our assignment is ask God to deal that assignment to you. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, I thank you this morning, O God Almighty, that you remind us that we should have no other God beside thee. I thank you, O God Almighty, that Lord Jesus, you are not a God 
like the other common G-O-D-S. Mm. I thank you, O oh God, that you are the Almighty God. And mm. so, Father, I pray, God Almighty, in the yes. name of yes. Jesus, that God, if there is any idol in our lives, God, I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that they shall be broken in irreplaceable places in the name of Jesus Christ. They will be ripped out of our lives, God, in the name of Jesus. We will bow before you who is the true and living God. Oh, God Almighty, let us see no other apart from you, God. Oh, God, help us to give you first place in our lives, oh, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. And so, Father God, I pray, God, that as I would come down, Lord, this morning, oh, God, and I've delivered your word that you have placed in my mouth, oh, God. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that, God, each and every one of us, God, our lives will never be the same as from today, O oh God Almighty. But we will see you as Isaiah saw you high and lifted up, seated on the throne of our lives, O oh God. Have your way, God, in our lives. And thank you for the opportunity this morning. To your people, I lift you up and I give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we had work. And came to fix the Lord. Hallelujah. I sat down here. Hallelujah. Please don't come back at my house so early in the morning and come listen to my conversation with God. As I sat and I listened to her, I was just saying, My, my, my God. My God, God, you know me, you were talking and it like the sister come peeping for us. Yes. But I thank God for Sister Mills. Yes. I've always enjoyed listening to her. Thank you, Jesus. Bless oh, you. God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, give the Lord a praise for the sister. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus, your word, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For your man, sir. Sometimes, you know, we don't even realize that we have idols in our life. Yes. Sometimes we just take it for granted. Sometimes it's our very children. We don't want nobody saying thing. We look here, man. We need to just take a deeper look inside. As the word is, was speaking, I'm looking through my life and I said, My God. You search me, please, because me, me limited. Yes. So I need you to search my own heart. And before I'm point finger on anybody else, you help me to point them all, yes. all ten of them on me. Hallelujah. Oh, point it on me, Lord. Let me see nobody else. Let me. Oh, that Lord, because I don't want. <coughs> to lose my way. Hallelujah. God bless you, Pastor Mill. God bless Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. And we Jesus. pray, God bless you, Almighty God. God. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Praise God. Praise yes, God. Hallelujah. Before I even go no further, Hallelujah. Uh, my dear friend, Sister Kim Burnett, you are on the line. Could you just pray over the woman of God that God will cover her? Amen. That God will Amen. cover her. Come on, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, in the precious Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for such a word, for such a time as this. Hallelujah. Yeah, Hallelujah. Pray, Father God, that the angels of God will continue to wrap themselves around oh, this woman of God who yes, is Lord. not robbery to speak the word with authority, yes, with Jesus. clarity. I pray the blood covering from her head, God, oh, down Lord. to the soles of her feet. 
I pray, Father God, that you will cover her family with your precious blood. Mm -hmm. And Father, we pray, God, that you will bless her coming in. I pray, God, that you will bless her going out. I pray, God, that you will continue to pour fresh oil from her head. Father mm -hmm. God, to the soles of her feet, continue, God, to use her for your glory. God, we thank you. We praise you. We give you all the glory and honor. No weapon that's formed against us shall prosper and i plead the blood over her now in jesus name i pray amen amen hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus my dear friend sister jones comes to do the intercessory prayer I want to say to all of us, prayer works. Amen. Prayer works. Yes. Praise I God. was asked to share a brief testimony and I said, God, which one of them I must share? Because I know I cannot talk about my grandson and how the demons speak to me. I wanted to take over most. That's another time past, Reverend Mark. That's another one. That's another time. Time would not limit us now. But, you know, I said to the Lord, what shall I say? So I'll give you a brief testimony as I was asked. I want to tell you that prayer works. Faith in God can move mighty mountain. I have an adopted grandson. Um, his mother was married to my son. They divorced, but I was still in the family, and I am still in the family. And there are two children um, separately from my grandson who was who was um, born to the mother. Those two children are living, one with a stepfather and the other is their father because the mother was remarried. He, the boy, he has a, what you call it, disability, hearing, a slight hearing impairment. And so he left a school that um, was taking care of his disability and he reached the age of 18. And we were wondering, my God, what can I do? How can I get him? Where can I go? And so the principal of the school that he was leading decided that, okay, we will, she will ask her husband, who was at the time a plumber, working, I don't know if it was for the ministry, um, to assist him because he said he would do plumbing. He's now 18. When we hear the shout, the plumber, the, 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 the principal husband, um, got retirement. And I said, my God, what am I going to do? And so I was there talking to the Lord. We try all kinds of stuff. And one day the Lord said to me, you don't talk to me yet. You don't talk to me now. You do your own thing and not talk to me. And I said, my God, forgive me. Open the door, show me the way. And the Lord sent me to a very good friend that I know over in heart. And when I called her, she said, Sister Pearl, no, 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 but I will try. I will seek out. And she went, she sought. And when she found out there was an empowerment program that maybe he could enter, and she said, maybe because of his disability. I said, okay. She didn't stop there. She went and she sought it out and she got all the forms and everything, drop it off at my house and everything. And that was when the ball stopped. And I tell you, God was in the midst of it. And so when I went and went to the school, spoke to the, the person in charge and we were on our way. And then I came up on a roadblock. He had to have a bank account. Went to BNS and they were giving me the runaround. So one day, one morning now, when he was supposed to go back to school the following week, go to school the following week, I said, my God, what am I going to do? I went to the bank and the bank said, no, you have got to get this letter. I went up to the school. Nobody was there to give me the letter because they were not accustomed to giving, me, giving any letter. So I said, my God, what kind of blockage is this? And so I leave the school, went by. Uh, Bay West and say, all right, let me go try NCB. My God, we don't love NCB, but let me try. And the two children and I went there, 115, 118. And while I was waiting for the customer rep, couldn't see him, and that was after 10. 
believe you me, I felt a pain around my waist. And I said to the children, come on, let's go to KFC, go get something to eat. I can't be bothered. And just as I stepped down the step at NCB and was walking towards KFC, I felt something came over me. And just before I, my eyes shut down and I fell to the ground, I saw one of my past co-worker was my best friend. We had been together for about 20 years. And she came out of nowhere. And by the time I stretched my hand to say, call her by name, I was sliding to the ground. And I said, take my hand. And she grabbed my hand. And she and her friend, they left me. I said, take me to the nearest doctor. They took me up to Bay West. I saw this young man and everything was going around me. I was ordered. Order, because even when the young man said, I am sending you to Coral Region, I said, no, not to Coral Region, let me go to a private. He said, no, Coral Region, what I want to be done today, it's going to be done at Coral I said, mighty God in heaven, I don't like Coral Region. No. And then I was slipping in and out, long story short. At 11 something, I went up to Coral Region, saw the first, the first customer rep, did just the, the um, pressure and was sent home. My granddaughter joined me and my neighbor came and joined me. And from after 11 until six something, had it not been for my past students that I did not treat bad, God bless those students. And had it not been for my granddaughter co-worker, I would not see a doctor. And that, I'm talking about 625. And they went to a doctor and said, please begin to push it in, push her in. And I went to see the doctor. Doctor said, you know, I had my last patient, but somehow when I saw your name, something tells me that I need to just look at you. And he did everything, all some of the things that I was told, never have hospital, ECG, every, every one of the vitals that was needed. Everyone the doctor did. The last one was the blood test. And he said, you know, the blood test for review will not be ready until after nine, two and a half hours. I said, God, doctor, you say we must wait until 9.30. Me leave me house much o'clock this morning. He said, you say, doctor, me not take me care of it. He said, I am not going to give you permission to leave. And furthermore, you have the needle in your hand. Anyway, I waited until 9.30. That time my blood test came back. No doctor, nobody. I waited until 10, 10, 15. You know, I pick up my phone and call my neighbor and say, come for me. Went home, had something to eat, bed, go to my bed, go sleep, wake up the morning before five, get myself ready by 5.30, I was back at the hospital. At seven or quarter to eight, somebody I saw a friend of mine who works there, I ran into her arms and I said, Lord God, I thank you for you. You got to help me. And she said, what happened? What are you doing up here? Is it your grandson? I said, no. She took my documents and pushed it under the first doctor that came. There were four persons. And by 10 something, I was sure. I want to tell you that with all of my tests, I did not have a heart problem, 72 over 73. Nothing, nothing, nothing was wrong. All I was ordered to do is to go back to Dr. Frey and check on the position of my liver. Because those of you who don't know, I had a liver attachment from 2019. I went to Dr. Frey. He said, my God, somebody's praying for you. I said, what you mean? He said, I don't see no attachment. I don't feel no liver extension, nothing at all. But I don't want to worry about it. Let me send you to do the ultrasound. I went and I did the ultrasound. And I want to tell you, those of you who have been praying for me, I thank you so much. I came back with the verdict. No attachment to my liver. And my liver has been reduced from 16 by 11 to 11 by 13. That's what God does when you believe in prayer. Right now, yeah. God has healed me and I'm yeah. praising him. 
Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is able. Mighty God is able. As I come to the time when I'm going to ask. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I said, Pastor, I was going to ask. And it's far apart. Thank you, Jesus. We come to the time when we are going to ask Mr. Fogo Jones to stand in the gap. I want to say to you, you listened to the word a while ago. Prayer changes things. You listen to the word. Don't take my testimony for it. You prove God for yourself. You listen to the word this morning. And if you block your host, God cannot come in there. Oh, if you block oh, your host, God cannot oh, come in there. Oh, God, oh, God, my God, if not my the sister God. who is going to pray. Is the mm. God who is going who you are praying to? Hallelujah. You determine whether you want that miracle this morning because He said, "By His stripes we are healed." Yeah, so if you give all the sicknesses, all the yeah, lack, God has already yeah. given us the ready. He has given us the solution. I'm saying to all of you, believe God, believe God, and if you are asking for prayer for your sickness and you're not giving life to Christ. Change the, the, the request and ask God to see you. God bless you. Sister Fogo Jones, I lift you up in prayer. Hallelujah. Mighty name Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We stand in agreement with you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Awesome God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Luke 6, Luke 6, 19, and the whole multitude sought to touch him, for there went virtue out of him and healed them all. Virtue went out of him and healed them all. Mighty God, everlasting Father, hallelujah, hallelujah. Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. I join with the songwriter who pens it this way. Prior, climb the ladder Jacob saw. Prior makes the Christian armor bright. God, when we pray, something happened. Yes. yes. This morning, we exercise our Hallelujah. faith in you. Yes. For we know, Hallelujah. we know God that when we touch Jesus, yes. when we touch you, Lord, something happened. Father God, we come to you this morning Hallelujah. in no other name but in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for your words this morning. Thank you. Oh, God, help us to set our house in order. Yes, yes. Oh, God, help us as believers not to be playing church, God. For we know, we know, we know, God, you don't dwell in dirty vessels. God, help us to be clean. Mighty God. Help us to be clean, Jesus. Help us, help us, Lord. Help us, oh God, to trust you, our hope, oh God. We thank you for today. Thank you, Lord. We thank you that your people believe in prayer, and this is why they are making their request known. Yes. You are the same God yesterday, today, and forever. And we believe your words. Healing is the children's bread. 
much. And many times, God, people might not have the money to see a doctor, but you are Dr. Jesus. Amen. Amen. And when we cry out to you, God, something happened. So this morning, all these prayer requests, we are asking our people to exercise their faith this morning and claim healing. Yes, in the name of Jesus. We pray for Sister Claudette Bailey England, who has a terrible pain in her right shoulder. Father God, we ask that you will touch that shoulder right now. As she exercises her faith, touch that shoulder right now, Lord. For the enemy to shame this morning, Jesus. For we know, we know, we know, God, that when we believe, when we believe, when we believe, we can say it is done. Hallelujah. We pray for Sister Fraser for strength and courage to deliver God's word tomorrow. This is her first time. Lord, we place her in your hand. Take away fear. Take away doubt. That your word will go forth with clarity. And she will deliver thus said the Lord. We pray for a coverage for her, Lord. We pray, God, that as you give her a word, Father God, she will believe you and trust you that your words will go forth to your people. Yes. We pray, God, that as she deliver, souls will come to know you, Jesus, as their Lord and Master. Father God, we are crying out to you. We are crying out to you this morning. Pray for Sister Taylor for a closer walk with you, Jesus. Yes. We pray, God, that she will take you at your word. Yes, she will take you at your word. Yes. Greater is he that is in her than he that is in the world. Yes, Lord. Father God, help her to continue to trust you. Jesus. Help her to continue to look to you Total so God she can have a closer walk with you. Help us as believers, God, to have a closer and a closer walk with you. For God, we don't want to sin and come short of your glory. So help us, God, help our sister to have a closer walk and to believe you. We pray for the Bartley family and the church school family as they buried a loved one today. Uh, Father God, we pray that you will be with them today. Uh, you will take them through that rough time. Yeah. For only you can do it, Lord. Comfort their hearts. God, when they feel as if you don't care, I know you care. Hallelujah. I know you care. Hallelujah. I know, I know. Yes, I remember when my husband died, my daughter said, God, you fail, but I know you never fail. You are a God who never fails. Show the family, God, that you are a God who never fails. And even though they are going through this, you care for them. Thank you, Lord. Take Thank them through today, Lord. Take them through today. Help them to prove you one more time. Help them to prove you, God, one more time. For you are a God who never fails. We thank you, Lord, those who did not make a prior request. Whatever it is today, Lord, be with them. Jesus. Help us to do the natural while you do the supernatural yes. today, Lord. Yes. Yes. In the yes. name of Jesus. Yes. For we are depending on you. We have no other one to call on but you, Lord. When we call on you, we believe your words. Yes, Lord. That you have done it. And you are still doing it. Yes. And we are holding on to your promises as your children. God, you never fail. You never fail. 
We will fail, but you never fail. God, we continue to trust you today. Yes. We continue to believe in you today. Whatever we do today, wherever we go, Hallelujah. we believe in you today, Lord. And help us to lift that blood-stained banner high this morning. Yes. Knowing yes, that Lord. you are with us, Lord. You yes. are with us. Glory to God. And if the pain come to rock our body today or whatever, mm. we believe in you. For our mm. hallelujah belongs to you today, Lord. Yes, our Lord. Yes. belongs yes. to Lord you God. today. Lord. To you yes, today, Lord. Lord. We don't want to miss heaven. We don't want to lose out. So help us, God, to say, My faith, look up to thee, thou Lamb of Calvary. Savior divine, hear us while we pray this morning. Thank you for this prayer line. Thank you. Thank you for those who deliver your words morning after morning. Oh, we can say morning after morning, new mercies we see, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless us. Bless all your ministers, oh God. The devil is, is all they want to sift them like wheat, but God, give them the strength and the boldness and help them to hold on to you. Thank you for all you have been doing, Lord. Thank you for all you continue to do. We will continue to praise you. We will continue to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you, Lord, for healing. Thank you for hearing us. Yes, Lord. Thank you for favor. Hallelujah. Thank you for mercy. When justice demands our soul, mercy say no. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you for hearing us. And we say it is done. It is done. It is done. In the mighty name of Jesus. It is done. It is done. Thank you, Lord. 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 Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God, for all of you who have participated in one way or the other, even to say amen, praise the Lord, stand in agreement. Amen. I want to thank amen. Sister Ellen, who was graciously read the word this morning. I want to thank Sister Jones, who I know I could depend on. I know I could depend on. I heard her mention the passing of her husband and what her daughter said. But I know if this woman of God did not trust God, she could not have brought two children up. And now those two children are doctors. So I thank Amen. God for her and the life she's living in. The trust she has in God. Hallelujah. And I pray that she continue to Amen. lift her up in prayer. Hallelujah. I thank Hallelujah. God for the woman of God, Pastor Sandra Mills who God has called for a special ministry, continue to lift her up in prayer, continue to cover her, and may God surround her with favors like a shield, and may she never be in want. And so I thank you, Reverend Mullins, for this privilege, and I thank God for his presence with us today. And I Amen. pray that as we shall leave from here, as Reverend Mullins come to take over, that none of us will go home or leave from this platform the same way that came. God bless you. Over to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless, bless the Lord you. at all times. And his praise Amen. shall continually be in my mouth. God is a good God all the time. And all the time, God is good. So it literally doesn't matter what we're going through. He remains a good God in and through every situation. 
In those situations that come upon us are wonderful opportunities for him to demonstrate his goodness and his grace towards us and to demonstrate that his mercies are never failing. I know that we have experienced the goodness of God and we use this opportunity to give God all the glory and praise that is due to his name. I'm going to invite you, saints of God, just to take a moment and let us give God some praise. Come on, somebody. Let's praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Rising of the sun. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I want to use this opportunity just to greet each and every one of you in the mighty name of Jesus and say what an awesome privilege it is for us to be here together in this online setting. We may not be in one place, but certainly we are united in heart and purpose. Yeah. We come Amen. together to give God Amen. praise and glory Amen. and to honor his name. I have a very special announcement. Boy, I've been waiting so long to give this announcement. And I, I think that, um, you know, you will agree with me that this is a very very special, special, special day for a number of reasons. And we, we heard one of those reasons yesterday from Pastor Filippo. Pastor Filippo, you want to remind us of the special reason for today for you? Um, as Belizeans, we are celebrating St. George's Key Day, which is the day that the Spaniards and those people fought for Belize. And so that is part of our celebration. Well, let me tell you, last night there was a concert and I've been up praying. I listened to what happened this morning. I woke up with thunder lightning and a whole lot of stuff. God is so God of my nation. Amen. 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 You still there, Pastor Filippo? I'm here. Okay, great. Thank you. And we joined with you in the in the celebrations, I, I want us to um, just acknowledge something. I'm going to bring it up on screen just now. And I want us to say happy birthday to Minister Kim Burnett. Oh. <laughs> happy birthday, happy birthday. 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 Happy Thank you, Jesus. Hi, Minister Kim. We want to hear something from you. Please go ahead. Amen. I honor the Lord this morning, the giver of life, the reason why I'm here. He's my everything. I thank God for you, Reverend Mullings, and all of you in your respect places. Y'all are going to make me cry. My heart is just so full this morning. And when I woke up this morning, lately God has been ministering and waking me up with songs, song. Oh. And the song that he ministered is, all my life, you have been faithful. You, Even Jesus. when we were sinners, God has been a great God. Yes. He's been an awesome God. I can't Hallelujah. thank him enough for so great a gift of salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It is the best decision I thank could have you, ever Jesus. made. So my heart is full. Hallelujah. The attention that wake up for the word is given to me is overwhelming. But I can't thank God enough for another year that God has kept me. So I love all of you. Strength, oh my God. Encouragement, wake up for the word. I can't wake yeah. up quick enough. My prayer time this week has been 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 
3 a.m., 4 a.m. So I'm already in prayer when I get into wake up for the word. But I thank God for you, Reverend Mullings, for even allowing God to put me in your spirit, to allow me to speak on his holy word. It's so holy. It's an honor. But I love everybody. I'm getting ready now because my family is taking me into this city and they uh, have a restaurant and we'll be celebrating together. And then I'll be back with Women Empowered by Grace, God willing. I love all of you and thank you. Thank you, thank you. To God be the glory. Back to you. Hallelujah. to let you know that we love you too, Minister Kim. And we I, I know, you know, as you were sharing, and I'm I'm taking the time to just dry the, the tears that are pouring out of my eyes as well. I, I'm a crier. I don't care what anybody says. Men, big man cry too. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And I want to just let you know that we love you very much and we Amen. do appreciate your ministry. And just to let everybody know, as you'll see in a few moments, Minister Kim Burnett will be ministering on the platform tomorrow. And we so look forward to hearing what the Lord Amen. will be saying. Amen. Through his Amen. servant tomorrow uh, and as we continue in the these few announcements i just want to encourage you to join the whatsapp group the link for the whatsapp group is now posted in the chat all you got to do is just mm -hmm. click on that link whatever device you're using just go ahead right now and you can click on that link and it will take you straight into our whatsapp group now the whatsapp group i can assure you there is i know we have concerns about whatsapp groups and sometimes even the amount of whatsapp groups that we are part of and the things that are shared in these groups but in this group we are sharing deliberately intentionally with each other in a loving way as we minister to each other directly and more uh, in a more intimate way on the whatsapp group we share what's happening in our lives and we pray together we do what happens genuinely on this platform. We do it also in a more um, intimate way on the WhatsApp group. So I just want to encourage us to build that community. Just go ahead and click on that tab and it will take you straight into our WhatsApp group. We pray for each other there. We share what's happening in our various spaces. And I just want to encourage us to build that community also. All right, let's um, keep in mind what's happening for tomorrow. Now on screen the outline for the order for service for tomorrow being Sunday, the sub September 11. And we're asking Reverend Dr. Mullings if you'll go ahead and be the moderator for tomorrow's service. I'm leaning on our brother, Terrington Finletter, to do the scripture reading. And uh, as you heard, Minister Kim Burnett will be navigating the portion of scripture that will be read, which is Isaiah chapter 44 verses 17 to 28 so we're closing out chapter 44 of isaiah and then leaning on reverend paul king to do the intercessory prayer tomorrow as usual if there are any challenges you can always reach out to me my num whether direct call or whatsapp my number is 876-562-8400 or you can link up with pastor king and he, we will make the necessary adjustments as far as any changes that are, are necessary. Um, Brother Thurrington, you're coming in? Hold on. No, I'm okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. As far as the navigators for the dates to come, it's now on screen. That uh, remains the same. We are trusting God to point us in the direction for the minister for next week sunday not tomorrow sunday not the following sunday but the other speakers uh, remain stacked as we had presented them before I want to encourage us to keep on praying for the ministers the navigators the ministering saints as they prepare themselves to hear um, what the lord has to say to them and as they minister that they will minister as the lord has laid on their heart we continue to remember apostle smith we know that he did some traveling yesterday for ministry purposes as the chief eagle. They continue to meet on Wednesday nights as well as Thursday nights. And we do well to pray for all the eagles 
as a minister in their uh, on their respective days and times. Well, for Wednesday nights, it's eight and seven and six, respectively, for U.S., Jamaica, and Belize time. Similarly, for Thursday nights, it's seven and six, U.S., Jamaica, Belize time. And we also want to remember the women empowered by grace as they pray each and every Thursday morning at 6 a.m. U.S. time, 5 a.m. Jamaica time, 4 a.m. Belize time. And we do also well to remember them in prayer as they come together each and every Saturday. So they'll be gathering tonight, Women Empowered by Grace, under the ministry of Evangelist Denise Danai Ogilvy, 6.30 U.S. time, 5.30 Jamaica time, 4.30 p.m. Belize time. Let's continue to remember our brothers and sisters on yes. the platforms also. Uh, but for now, as it remains, the schedule for tomorrow is now on screen. I uh, want to encourage you also, when you get into YouTube to listen to the, the word, you know, many of us will listen to what is shared uh, differently, or we'll share the link with others who may not have been able to join on the platform. That's certainly an encouragement. We want to keep going because, you know, we don't want to be selfish with what's happening. God is doing a great thing on this platform every single day, bar none. The, the Holy Spirit has really been ministering to us and ministering through us. I'm sure our hearts have been encouraged and blessed as we go out there in our various spaces, doing whatever it is that we do. The, the Spirit of God has brought back something that has been done on this platform and has strengthened us and enabled us to minister to those who fall within our sphere of influence. And so we want to share the link for the, the, the wake, wake Up for the Word. Once you get into YouTube, just type Wake Up for the Word. It will come up and all the services that we have had uh, since June are there and you can always listen to them again, share them with your family, friends, co-workers, and even strangers you're passing by. Just tell them about Wake Up For The Word so that they too can be blessed by what is happening. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning when we wake up, wake up for the word, the word. Be filled with spiritual food for life's journey. And as we always say, the journey continues in life. What a journey it has been. I do love you with the love of the Lord. And certainly I look forward to seeing you each and every morning as we minister Amen. and share Amen. with each other. So as you go, the Lord be with you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you increasing peace, both now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Have Amen. A wonderful, God bless you. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Amen. Amen. And I'll Praise see you tomorrow God. morning. Please feel free to go ahead and unmute your mic and greet someone in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Have a blessed day, 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 everyone. Have a Many more healthy, happy birthdays. God is looking on you. Just a moment. Just a moment. Blessings. Blessings. I just saw Sister raise her hand. Oh, okay. It's gone. But I, I should have said also, and I, I bless the Holy Spirit for bringing this back to my recollection. Um, in, in, if there is anyone else celebrating a birthday or anniversary today, is there anyone else? Yes, my son, Kavid, Kareen, my okay. miracle baby. All right. He's all of 12 today. All of 12. All right. So we acknowledge him as well and say happy birthday to him. Anyone else celebrating? All right. Oh so we acknowledge Amen. We acknowledge Kavel as well and say happy birthday. Please express our love to him, my dear sister. Yeah, happy sister. birthday. He's hearing, you. He's hearing you. Oh, happy birthday, my happy son. Birthday. Happy birthday. Boy, yeah. Thank you. the baby. <laughs> amen, amen. Please keep amen. things going. Amen. It's the Lord. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, everybody. Sister Daphne, good morning. Good morning.
That testimony. Holy girl. God is good. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. Bless you, my dear saints and friends, Pastor Mullins. Daddy Mortima, good morning. Bless you, Sister Mills. Morning. Good morning, my sister. God bless you. 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 Bless you.